Now, the battle for public opinion is also being fought online. On Twitter, hashtags have emerged to channel the conversation. These three in particular have been trending around the world. It started with the disappearance of three young Israeli settlers back in early June. The hashtag Bring Back Our Boys dominated conversations, although it was later used to draw attention to the plight of young Palestinians held in Israeli jails. On the 8th of July, Israel launched its military offensive in Gaza, and soon the Israel under fire hashtag appeared online. It had more than 277,000 mentions on Twitter since the start of July, but it's been dwarfed by the Gaza under attack hashtag, which has had more than five and a half million mentions across all continents. Well, let's speak to Mona Dole, who is a journalist and political activist and joins us from London. Uh, Mona, when, when we look at public perceptions of what's happening in Gaza, of course, there's two different narratives, isn't there? The, the Israeli narrative uh, and the Hamas narrative. How have perceptions changed as this offensive has played out? Well, I think uh, social media, of course, an important reflection of the changing public opinion uh, towards Israel. And as you just mentioned, uh, the popularity of the hashtags shows that public opinion globally is turning against Israel. Um, another example of that is that, for example, in Germany at the moment, 86% of Germans in a recent poll, the respondents said that they do not want their government to be associated um, with Israel or openly support Israel. I think that reflects a clear change of political opinion, but we should also be careful not to overstate the importance of social media. I think there's also other structural factors. While social media allows, to, allows people to express themselves and, and express their feelings about Israel and Palestine, there are structural factors. The first um, important structural factor, I think, is the growing movement in solidarity with Palestine, the growing protest movement that we have seen here on the street of London and in many other uh, parts of the world where people went on the streets and we've seen the BDS campaign which has become increasingly successful. Then there is a second important factor which reflects the changes in public opinion towards Israel and I think um, that is the revolution in the Middle East which um, has represented a critical change uh, compared to the situation of the last massacre in 2008. Um, since then, we have had the revolutions in many countries across the region, and they have not only overthrown the political order in that region, they have also allowed us to imagine a different political solution for well, the, for the re region as such. Can, can I ask you this? I mean, you, you're, you're right that we have seen growing protests uh, in support of the people of Gaza and, and social media activity, but uh, unfortunately, mm. uh, that doesn't always translate into governments changing their policies policies, and at the moment Israel still has the support of, of most uh, Western governments in its, uh, as it calls it, the right to its self-defense. Yes, I think uh, that, that is something you, you correctly point out, a clear contradiction between the public perception of what Israel is doing. And at the moment in Paris, there's uh, foreign ministers of Germany, France, Qatar, and other countries negotiating a peace, peace uh, deal. I, I don't have much confidence in, in such peace, peace negotiations. Um, I think the driving force in the end, and that is of course a, a complicated thing, but the driving force in the end will be protest movements across the world, will be ordinary people in the Middle East standing up because the governments as such don't have a, a clear interest in, 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 in supporting the Palestinian cause. It is of course interesting that they're taking it so serious and I think there are two, two factors that are important. Uh, one factor is, is, is the fact that Hamas is actually fighting back and is representing a threat to Israel even in a loose, loose sense uh, if we look at the number of victims it's not really representing a threat but the governments are taking it seriously. Um, in the end, they are concerned about Israeli victims, not about Palestinian victims. Uh, the second factor I think that is important um, is, is again the, the changing political perception, which is putting increasing pressure, especially since the revolutions in the Middle East. Mona, thank you very much indeed for that. We'll have to leave it there. Mona Dole speaking to us from London there.